Well, I kind of tested out the Timu Black Box DVR, or commonly known as a dash cam. But uh, unbeknownst to me, the audio, the microphone, was muted. Uh, when I got home, I played around with the settings on here and then enabled audio. Uh, there's a lot of things wrong with this piece of shit. And one of the biggest things, which will give me a refund, because you have three different modes. You can record on 4K, and then 720p, and then 640 by 480 All right. Right in, in this video here, this is a 4K video. I wanted to test out the 720p, but whenever I enable 720p and attempt to record, it doesn't work. 720p mode does not work. 640 by 480 pixel mode does work, though. Well, just with that little slight defect, will I, I am eligible for a refund because it's not working properly, and I, I kind of wanted to, to go and test out 720p because maybe the file sizes will be lower than 4K. Actually, it will be quite considerably lower than 4K. It came with a 32 gigabyte micro SD card and the size of these files, you can only probably store one hour and 30 minutes of video on a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. I swapped it out with a 64 gigabyte micro SD card and I can probably store about three hours of video if I'm lucky on that micro SD card. Now, also, another thing that does not work, um, there's a setting on this thing um, where you can just set the recording to be one minute, two minutes, five minutes, or ten minutes, or off. Meaning that it doesn't, it will be continuously recording if you have it off, allegedly. But it's not, that does not work if you have it off. It just... Chops, chops up the file to 10 minute segments. I didn't want that. I don't like that. I wanted it to be a continuing, continuous recording. So that doesn't work. Um, you're stuck with 10 minute segments, even if you have that selection shut off. As you can see, look at the quality. Look how bright the video. Ah, uh, yes, Vegas is quite bright and sunny out here, but. Um, I won't blame, there's a re glass reflection from my windshield. I won't blame it on the camera, um, but it just doesn't look too well. Um, as far as look how bright it is, the white balance, it's supposed to have an auto white balance. The white balance should automatically change according to the lighting and all that. This thing also was set to six, uh, 50 hertz. I switched it to 60, her 60 hertz. Um, that really made a slight difference during the t testing. Um, also, there's the front, so there's a front camera that faces you, and it rec records both, but not on one video file. It records a separate video file for the front camera, and then a separate video file for the selfie camera. Selfie camera is mirrored. You'll see in the video, let me show you the selfie video right there. Okay, um, there you go. I don't like the fact that it's mirrored. Um, maybe my video editor program, I could flip it somehow. I, I have CyberLink Power Director. I don't know if I was looking for that setting to flip it, to mirror it. I didn't see it, but uh, I'll figure it out. Um, what else can I say about this thing? Um, it's made in, probably made in China. Um, once I got into the menu, it was pretty easy to to navigate through it though. Um, not sure what this button does though, right up here. There's a button up here. I have no idea what it does. I was playing with that button. I have no idea what that button does. Um, the instructions are, I need a magnifying glass to read the instructions and it's convoluted anyway. Um, I paid $15 for this, 15 bucks on Teemu. So once again, you kind of get what you pay for, but now I don't want it, to be honest with you. Uh, probably later this week, I'll 
This is my old dash cam. I forgot where I got this, but it was like probably back then. I got it 10 years ago. I think it was like 40, 45 bucks about 10 years ago. I don't know. I paid like, we're going to see if this one works better than the, the this Timu one and we'll compare the video files. But right now I have not even fully tested this because the audio was muted. That somehow the settings got fucked up and the audio was muted. And also, I want to test out night mode. It should automatically go into night mode when it gets dark out. I am not really a fan of the selfie camera, too. It's hard, too, because all well, my car is small, and I'm a big fucking Yeti, so it's really hard to get the camera, like, on my big Yeti fucking skull. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, we'll continue on with uh, this, the testing of this uh, dash camera from Timu. One thing is it's it's USB-C which makes that convenient. The uh, the old school dash cams all came with the old school USB port. Well, let me see if I can see it on here. See this is the old one. Old school one has one of those, those old school USB ports. Mini USB ports. This one I like because I have nothing but a bunch of USB-C cables and I can use my USB-C cables and I don't need to use their car charger that goes into the cigarette lighter port. I don't need to use it. I can just use my standard standard charger that I have USB-C wise. Um, anyway, we'll continue testing and I'll keep you guys posted. Thank you so much for tuning in. Kaboom.